If you've watched this channel for a while now, you're likely aware that in the past, I've speculated about what the future of 2D Mario games could be like on the Nintendo Switch. And in January of this year, we sort of got an answer to that question. With the port of New Super Mario Bros. U and New Super Luigi U from the Wii U onto the Nintendo Switch, in the form of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Now, many people at the time of that release understandably thought that that would be the only mainline 2D Mario game on the Nintendo Switch, that Nintendo just didn't want to make a brand new one for the console, or Nintendo didn't want to make a new version of Mario Maker for the console. Those were two of the possibilities that I threw out upon the release of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch, and the latter, Mario Maker 2, ended up happening. Mario Maker 2 released a few weeks ago to great reception from the fan base. I've really enjoyed my time playing Mario Maker 2 while I do have some gripes with the game that have gone over in previous videos, there's no denying that it's a great game and fundamentally improves on the original Super Mario Maker. But one question that I have about Mario Maker 2 is will this be the final 2D Mario game on the Nintendo Switch? This is the question that I'll be focusing on and trying to answer within this video. And we're just gonna jump right into it. Let's get started. To begin this video, I'd like to talk about why there really isn't too much of a need for another 2D Mario game on the Switch because of the stuff that we already have on the console. The Wii U, I think, handled its 2D Mario games fairly well, with it launching with New Super Mario Bros. U, a mainline 2D Mario title, and while it didn't innovate too much from the previous 2D Mario games, it's okay, it was still a fun experience anyway. A year later, New Super Luigi U released, which was a more challenging 2D Mario title for some people who were relatively underwhelmed with the difficulty of New Super Mario Bros. You. Then a couple years after that, we got a game that many fans were dreaming about for a long time. A game that allows you to build and create your own Mario levels. While the Wii U was a relatively underperforming console, Mario Maker 2 did sell very well on the Wii U and it took the world by storm by having so many creative possibilities from the fans come to life. After the release of Super Mario Maker, many people were wondering what the future of 2D Mario games was going to be like on the Nintendo Switch. Are we going to just get a new mainline Mario title and have Mario Maker just be this thing that was Wii U exclusive? or would we just be getting Mario Maker from that point forward? But Nintendo decided to do something a little bit different from what people were expecting, which is something that Nintendo usually does. And this was by porting over the Wii U 2D Mario titles to the Switch, as well as making a sequel to Mario Maker on the console. And because we have those two games already on the Switch satisfying the 2D Mario fanbase, and because they came out in such close proximity to one another, do we really need another one? It seems like if you're a 2D Mario fan and you just want a game that's custom built with some great levels in it for you, then New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe would be the game for you. But if you want something a little bit more creative, that strays away from the conventions of a normal 2D Mario game, then Mario Maker 2 would definitely be the game that I'd recommend. It seems like there's not too much of a need left for a new 2D Mario game on the Nintendo Switch. The only other group of fans that you would really satisfy with a new 2D Mario release are ones who are looking for something entirely new. A new 2D Mario game away from the new Super Mario Bros. branding, which is something that people have been hoping for for a long time, but just doesn't seem to be coming as a reality. There did seem to be hope for this as a possibility, with Super Mario 3D World, a brand new 2D Mario game theme being added into Mario Maker 2, which does give us hope that a brand new 2D Mario game style could be created that we could have an entirely custom built game made from, but I don't know if this is going to end up being the case. We already technically have three 2D Mario games on the Nintendo Switch since Mario U and Luigi U are comboed into one game release, so having a fourth would kind of be overkill. But if we are really going to determine if this is the case, then I think we have to determine the lifespan of the Nintendo Switch and how much longer we think the console is going to last. This is because I think we have to know the amount of years that the Nintendo Switch is still going to be around for if we're going to be speculating about when the next new 2D Mario game would be releasing. Because if the Nintendo Switch is going to be around for a long, long time after this, then maybe Nintendo would not be able to wait to release a brand new 2D Mario game. They might need those sales right away. One thing that has been revealed by Nintendo fairly recently that I think increases the overall lifespan of the Nintendo Switch is the Switch Lite. This is an inferior version of the console without detachable Joy-Cons, but it's more focused on a portable gaming experience for a gamer on a budget. And now that Nintendo has confirmed that they're going to be releasing new versions of the Switch like this, I think we could end up getting a long lifespan of the console, akin to the 3DS, 
where we get new versions continually releasing as sort of semi-new Nintendo consoles while still maintaining the same branding. And if this is the case, I think Nintendo may be able to ride this train of the Nintendo Switch success for a longer time period than usual. The overall lifespan of the Wii U was cut pretty short considering that the console didn't sell very well but the Nintendo Switch has been selling very well, and that could definitely be a reason for why Nintendo would want to continue to make new ones. The Wii U's lifespan was about five years, the 3DS has sort of been going on for almost eight, and the Wii had gone on for about seven, so let's just say seven years for the Nintendo Switch, putting an end to new content on the console around 2023. And now that we sort of have an idea of how long the Nintendo Switch is going to be lasting, with the new versions continually releasing for it, presumably a Pro releasing later, although I did speculate more about that in my previous video, so I'm not going to dwell too much on it here. Let's see if Nintendo by 2023 really would have to be desperate to release a brand new 2D Mario game, would they be forced into a situation where they would have to do that? And if we're going to examine that question, then I definitely think we have to look into into just how long of a lifespan Mario Maker 2 is going to have. Being sort of a Wii U port, New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe definitely wasn't expected to have that long of a lifespan. It maybe lasted a couple of months, and by the time Mario Maker 2 released, most people have pretty much forgotten about it. But Mario Maker 2, because of the massive creating possibilities and all of the fan interaction and the encouragement to contribute to the community, I think it could definitely have a much longer lifespan. This is also going to be assisted by Nintendo continually releasing new content for it. What new content would be releasing for Mario Maker 2? Well, potentially some new enemies and objects, because after the release of the original Mario Maker, this also happened. Objects like the bumper and the fire Koopa clown car were not at launch for the original Mario Maker, and we could end up getting some smaller things like that for Mario Maker 2. But one thing that I think is definitely confirmed that we're going to be getting for Mario Maker 2 is a new game theme. This is because in the extra game style section for Mario Maker 2, there's a blank space, and the section is also just labeled extra game styles, which is plural, implying more than one, even though only one is listed. This pretty much confirms that there is going to be a brand new game theme added into Mario Maker 2 on top of the 3D World theme that was already added at the launch of the game. Now, we haven't really seen any signs yet that Nintendo is going to be planning to release this new game theme anytime soon, so maybe it'll take until like mid-2020 for all the content to be released. Mario Maker 2 could have a lifespan of updates until mid-2020, and probably still have a very strong community going for it later on into the year and through 2021. And because of that, I don't really think we need a new 2D Mario game on the Nintendo Switch, considering how long of a lifespan Mario Maker 2 is going to have, and for all the people who want that traditional 2D Mario game experience, they could just buy New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Yes, I know the fans who have already experienced that game on the Wii U would probably not be interested in that option, but that's just what's going to have to do. Nintendo just figured that since the Wii U didn't sell very well, they could just port over a bunch of the games from the console and just have them sell even more copies on the Nintendo Switch because a lot of people didn't buy them on the Wii U, and it looks like this is just going to be the case for the new 2D Mario title. So is this really it? Is this the end of it all? Are we not getting a new mainline Mario game through the rest of the lifespan of the Nintendo Switch? 2023, if we presume that is the year that the Switch's lifespan is going to end, is still a few years away. And considering that Super Mario Odyssey, a brand new mainline Mario title for the Nintendo Switch, launched in 2017, I really think Nintendo is going to need a new 3D Mario before the Switch's lifespan ends. I believe that if Nintendo was only planning to have one new 3D Mario title on the Nintendo Switch, they wouldn't have put it in the launch year and instead would have saved it till later, sort of put it in the middle of the Nintendo Switch's life so that you're not really pressured to make a new one. But as we've seen with a Breath of the Wild sequel, Nintendo is already confirming that that very successful launch title for the Switch is going to be getting a new game on the console, well then, Super Mario Odyssey will likely have one. They've already confirmed one, I just think the other is very likely as well. But is this new 3D Mario game on the Switch necessarily going to be Super Mario Odyssey 2? I don't think so. For mainline Mario fans who are looking for something brand new, I do think that there are more possibilities than just an Odyssey 2. There are a few possibilities here, and I'm going to throw some of them out right now. I figure since we're talking about mainline Mario titles, you're probably interested in this. Obviously, Super Mario Odyssey 2 is one of them. But as it was speculated in the past, I do think Galaxy 3 does have a chance as well. The original Super Mario Galaxy on the Wii was a huge hit with fans, and many considered it to be one of the best Mario games ever released. It was so universally loved by Nintendo fans that Nintendo was almost just forced to put out a new one, 
and it was very similar to the first drawing a lot of criticism, but many fans just appreciated it because it was a lot more of what they enjoyed from the first one. Now if they were going to create a Galaxy 3 on the Wii, I don't think they would have had enough time in the lifespan of the console to do that. So you may be wondering, why wouldn't they do that on the Wii U? I definitely believe that it's a combination of factors, one of the main ones being the lack of sales for the console, but another one being a lack of control innovation with the Wii U gamepad. The Wii U gamepad probably just wouldn't fit as one of the main control schemes for a Galaxy title, considering the way that they focus heavily on the Wii Remote. And if they were just simply going to use the Wii Remote concept for controlling the game again, I think that would be a lack of originality, and many people would want something a little bit different. Enter the Joy-Cons for the Nintendo Switch, which are different from Wii Remotes, but also similar in how you could control them with one hand as well. This would provide a new control scheme while feeling very similar to the original, and I think that this is something that Nintendo may really want to take advantage of. There are a bunch of other factors as well, and you can check out my video completely focusing on the possibility of a Galaxy 3 if you're more interested in that, but this is definitely a possibility in my opinion for a new mainline Mario game that Nintendo could release on the Switch. By releasing a Galaxy 3, you would also differentiate it more from Super Mario Odyssey and probably getting more sales for that game than you would for an Odyssey sequel. A Super Mario Odyssey 2 may not appeal to as many people who have already bought the original Super Mario Odyssey because they'll feel as if they've already purchased a similar game to that on the Nintendo Switch and they'd like something new whereas the Galaxy 3 would appeal to many people who haven't played the original Galaxy games. Another possibility is an entirely new type of 3D Mario game, but this is something that's difficult to speculate about. Mainly because Nintendo hasn't really done this before where they've created two entirely new types of a 3D Mario game on the same console, and I can't really see it happening. That's what I think is going to be likely for a new mainline Mario game on the Switch. And I don't think it's too likely that we're going to be getting a new 2D Mario game on the console and it's going to be more focused on the 3D games. This is why I believe that Mario Maker 2 will truly be the final 2D Mario game on the Nintendo Switch. If we were going to be getting a new 2D Mario game on this console or even on the next Nintendo console, here's what I think would have to happen with it. I think it would definitely have to have a new art style in order to be successful. Get away from the new Super Mario Bros. style, at least for a while. You could have stylized visuals like a Raymond game, for example, or you could just go even more realistic with it, but I don't think that would work out too well for a Mario game. You definitely need some more unique mechanics and things that differentiate it from the other 2D Mario games that are already out there. Something like including Cappy into a 2D Mario game, for example, would really make this a more interesting experience. Have it where power-ups aren't a thing, and you could capture enemies instead, and that would be a really cool new mechanic. It'd basically be a Super Mario Odyssey in 2D. You need something like that to be a reason to buy it, although I don't think reusing Cappy would be the best idea for a brand new game and you might want to create something different but that's just an example that I'm throwing out there. Let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comments down below. Do you think there's a possibility of a brand new 2D Mario game on the Nintendo Switch? Is it going to be mainly 3D focused? And if it is going to be 3D focused, what is going to be the new game that releases? Check out some of the previous videos that I've made. They have content in them that's recommended for you and they're linked on the screen right now. Remember to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.